Hello friends, I'm Nayashek from Doctor.com and today in this video I'll show you how you can create beautiful and professional variation swatches for your website. Now this is what a variation swatches is as you can see in, you have this color, shoe size and different things. Now normally when you create a WordPress website and when you create a variable product, this is how it will show. So your color will show like this red blue whatever color you like and size also so everything that you create every variable that you create will be shown in this drop down manner now let me just explain you very quickly that what is a variable product so in woocommerce we create different types of products a simple and variable product variable product is a product which is available in different variations for example in this example if you see this product is available this shoe is available in different colors and in different sizes so it is available in different variations so whenever you create a variable product all your variations will show in this boring way in this simple drop down way so if you want to change this thing, if you want to make it more beautiful and professional and if you want to design it in this way, that is exactly what we are going to learn in this video. Now I'll be using a free plugin to use this thing so you don't have to pay anything, you don't have to purchase anything to make these changes on your website. Now another benefit of using this plugin is that you can have uh, this option in your widget. So whether it's your shop page or any other page, you can have this option as your shop page widget. So if someone wants to come to your website and if they want to search only product which are available in particular, for example, in particular color like red color, they can select that red color. Now only those products will show which are available in red color. As you can see, only two products are showing over here. So this is very useful plugin. So let's see how we can do this. Now before proceeding further, if you see this website, this amazing and super beautiful website, if you see from top to bottom, this is a really amazing and professional website. The design of the uh, this page, the home page, the single product page or the shop page really looks amazing. And you will be shocked to know that this entire website with all this beautiful design and everything is created using only free resources. For example, to create this website, I used only free resources. I used a free theme, free page builder and free plugins to create this amazing website. So if you also want to create a free professional and beautiful e-commerce website, you can go to YouTube and search for Nayar Sheikh WooCommerce. There will be many different tutorials. You have to watch this tutorial. Okay, this is the one how to create a free e-commerce website with WordPress online store 2019. So you can just search for Nayar Sheikh WooCommerce 2019. Okay, this is the first result. So this is the video. This is the video that you have to watch. In this video, I have shown how you can create a beautiful and professional e-commerce website using only free resources. All right, now let's get started with this video. Let's see how we can do this thing. So to do this first, you have to come to your dashboard. So for this, I'll be using this website. So I'll come, you have to come to your dashboard. So to come to your dashboard, I think you should know you have to just type in your website name slash WP hyphen admin. So when you type in this thing, you will come to your dashboard. Now what you have to do, you have to install a new plugin. So to install a new plugin, you have to hover over plugins, which is at the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new. Now here you have to search for variation swatches. Now you'll get this result variation swatches for WooCommerce by Imran Ahmed. This plugin has 50,000 plus active installation. And as you can see, has has got really great rating 166 people rated this plugin as five star so this is a great plugin so just install and activate this plugin so to install it simply click on this install button and once it is installed click on this activate button now once you install and activate this plugin what you have to do is you have to hover over products which is again at the left hand side hover over products and click on attributes now we need to create different attributes so one attribute can be color. So just type in color, uh, leave this slug. You can enable archives. Now in type, you have to select color. So select color and click on add attribute. So color is added as an attribute. Now another attribute can be size or if you're creating this website for maybe mobile phones, another attribute can be RAM. Then another attribute can be uh, memory, those kind of things. So whatever thing do you do you want to show you have to create those attributes so we are creating two attributes so your color and size so for color we have selected color and the type and in size you have to select button and make sure you select this thing you tick mark enable archives now click on add attribute now as you can see two attributes are successfully added 
Now let's first configure the color attribute. So to configure this, you have to click on this link, configure terms, click on that link. Now let's start adding different colors. So first of all, I want to add black color. After that, you just leave the slug, leave the description, just come back to color, select the black color from here and click on add new color. Now, similarly, you can add unlimited colors. So I'm selecting red, red color, and let's add green. Select green color from here, click on add new color. Now, as you can see, similarly, you can create unlimited number of variations in colors or etc. Now let's come back to our variations. So for that, you can click on attributes again under products. Now let's configure size. So click on this link, configure terms. Now size can be anything. So let me just create three sizes, small, just uh, type in small and click on add new size. After that type in medium. Now click on add new size. Then we'll type in large and again, click on add new size. So we have created three colors and three sizes. Now let's create a product and let's see how we can use it. So to use it first, you have to create a product. So for that, we'll hover over products and click on add new. Now let's give this product a title or a name. So I'll just name it men t-shirt. Now we'll come over here. You have to, you know, you should know all these things, product, short description, long description and all those things. We are not getting into detail with those things. We are only focusing on attributes. But again, I'm saying if you want to learn the, this complete process in detail, how to create a product, how to configure PayPal and different payment integrations, how to do taxation, shipping settings on your website, everything, everything related to e-commerce website. Again, I would highly recommend you to watch that tutorial, how to create a free e-commerce website with WordPress. Now over here, we will leave all these things will enter only important details. Now we have to come to product data and instead of simple product, you have to select variable product. Now, whether it is taxable or not, what is the tax class? Select that inventory, shipping, all this information you have to put in. Again, I'm saying we are not covering these things in this video. We are covering only the variation swatches. Now to create variation swatches to enable variation swatches, you have to come to attributes. Now here, you have to select this option, select this drop down and select color. Now click on add. Now type, just click on over here, you'll get all the options. So suppose this t-shirt is available in two colors, black and red. So I'll select black and red and make sure these two things are enabled, visible on product page and used for variation. After that, click on save attributes. Now again, uh, just click on this drop down. Now select size, click on add. Now select the sizes in which this is available. So maybe this is available only in large and medium size. Now again, make sure to tick mark this use for variation and click on save attributes. Now we have created two colors and two sizes, which means that total four variations will be created. Now, once you have created the attributes, click on variations. Now, instead of creating variations from scratch, you can just select this drop down. Now tick mark this or select this thing, create variations from all attributes. Select this thing and click on go. Now this will automatically create variations for you. As you can see, it has created four variations. Now click on OK. Now here you have black, large, black, medium, red, large and red, medium. Now let's start adding this thing. So we'll, first we'll select black, large, we'll insert an image. Uh, maybe we have some images over here. So this is a black t-shirt. I'll select this, click on set variation. And this t-shirt will cost maybe $20. Now black medium, I'll select the same image. Uh, this will be maybe $18. Red large. Let me select this t-shirt for red large. Click on set variation. This is again maybe $20 and red medium. Okay, let's just uh, price it at $15. Select these things, click on save changes. Now these two things are important attributes and variations. Now let us uh, select product category. So let us select men's t-shirt or any category if you want. Now product image. So I want this as the product image. And if you want some gallery images, select few images. So I'm selecting these three, click on add to gallery. Now click on publish. Now once the product is published, we can view this product in a new tab. Now, as you can see, this product is showing all the variations and attributes are showing. Let's see whether it is working or not. 
So select black, now select large. Now as you can see, it says $20. Select red and large, it says $20. Now select red and medium, now $15. If you select black medium, $18. So as you can see, these variations are now working. And instead of that boring drop down, we have these things showing and it really looks amazing. Now let's see our shop page. So click on shop. Now as you can see, we have these options over here. Let's see how we can add some other options. So for that, again, you have to come back to your dashboard. Now hover over appearances and click on widgets. Now scroll down and search for this option, filter products by attributes. Select this option and select WooCommerce sidebar or whatever sidebar. Now it all depends. Now these steps might may vary for people because you know, I'm using ocean WP theme, which is a free theme. So in this, uh, to show any widget on the shop page, you have to select WooCommerce sidebar. So that is what uh, we have to do in ocean WP in other theme, the widget name or the sidebar name may be different. Okay. So I'm just selecting this thing. Make sure WooCommerce sidebar is selected. Click on add widget. Now over here, filter by color, we'll type in as the title filter by color and what should be the attribute attribute should be color. Click on save. Let me bring this thing at top. Come back to this shop page, refresh it. Now, as you can see, filter by color option is working. Now, if I want to see only black color t-shirt, I can select this black. Now, as you can see, black color t-shirt is uh, showing over here. Now there are two designs. If you want to show this in a list way or in a drop down way. So this was the list way. Now let's see how uh, this is the list way. Let's see how the drop down way looks like. Now this is the drop down. This is how it will look. If you select red, only red color t-shirt, if it is available is showing. Now again, you can use the same option, filter product by attribute, select WooCommerce sidebar, click on add widget. And after that you can, this time you can filter by size or any other attribute. And in, in attribute, select size and in display type also select drop down, save this thing. Let's bring it just below filter by price or maybe a uh, filter by color. Now again, come back to your shop page and refresh it. Now as you can see, filter by color and filter by size is now showing. All right, guys. So with this, we have completed this video. This was a very short video, obviously, as compared to other videos on my channel. But this is I think this was very important. This really makes your website really amazing. It really beautifies your website and makes it more professional. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any doubts, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in the next video.